Welcome to my channel, everyone. I want to do a book review here on a piece of nonfiction that I recently finished, How Jesus Became God, The Exaltation of a Jewish Preacher from Galilee by the secular historian and New Testament scholar Bart D. Ehrman. In this book, Bart Ehrman talks about the early Christian church and the varying viewpoints on who Jesus was throughout the first three or four centuries of Christianity. Turns out that there was a lot of dispute amongst the early Christians about who Jesus was. And I want to just very quickly here walk through the chapters of this book. Chapter 1, Divine Humans in Ancient Greece and Rome. It turns out that in ancient Greece and Rome, many different people were considered to be divine beings. So Ehrman opens this book up, giving us some perspective. The Roman emperors were considered divine beings. Many very intelligent philosophers were considered to be more than human. They were divine on some spectrum of divinity. Chapter 2. Divine humans in ancient Judaism. Turns out the same thing was true amongst ancient Jews. Some people were considered to be God. Chapter 3. Did Jesus think he was God? Ehrman is a very rigorously educated New Testament scholar, and he goes in on what Jesus thought of himself, the words that he said. He goes into the writing of the Gospels, and he says that the Gospels were actually penned hundreds of miles away, decades later, by people that never knew Jesus and were actually speaking a different language. So Ehrman really goes in on the New Testament to give us perspective on the documents themselves, to give us an idea of why many people, after the death of Jesus, came to believe he was God. Ehrman goes in deep on the words uh, that Jesus spoke in this book. Chapter 4, The Resurrection of Jesus, What We Cannot Know. Chapter 5, The Resurrection of Jesus, What We Can Know. The resurrection is a very important aspect of why many followers of Christ, after his death, came to believe that he was a divine being. Ehrman goes in on the different gospel accounts, and other historical documents. Uh, turns out that Christians, early Christian historians, were actually debating these issues. And he brings some of that into this book, which was a lot of fun. Not only does he talk about the New Testament, the Old Testament, but he talks about early historical documents between these arguments that were taking place. And it gives a great perspective to this book. Chapter 6, The Beginning of Christology. Christ is exalted to heaven. It turns out that many early Christians had a different viewpoint of Jesus concerning the spectrum of divinity. Many people believed he was a divine being at his birth, yet others thought it didn't happen until the baptism. Others still thought it didn't happen until he was crucified. Still others thought it didn't happen until the resurrection. So there's a whole various spectrum of these beliefs amongst early Christians, and Ehrman really goes in on those beliefs. Chapter 7, Jesus is God on Earth, Early Incarnation Christologies. Turns out that yet other Christians thought that Jesus was a pre-existent divine being. Many thought he was an angel that came to Earth as Jesus. Many people thought that he was a pre-existent divine being with God that was somehow part of God, that was created by God uh, after the beginning. Yet others thought that he was with God from the very beginning of eternity. So there's a whole different uh, spectrum of belief that happened before Jesus was born. So Ehrman really goes all out to give these different perspectives of the early believers. Chapter 8. After the New Testament, Christological dead ends of the 2nd and 3rd centuries, early Christian historians and bishops and believers argued these different aspects of the story of Jesus rigorously. They were actually writing letters back and forth, these early historians, arguing the different points 
of the religion. And Ehrman brings a lot of that in to give a well-rounded perspective about what these early historians thought and the debates that they had. And he cites some of their works. And I thought that it was a great addition to this book. A final chapter, Ortho Paradoxes on the Road to Nicaea. It turns out that Julius Caesar, emperor of the Roman Empire, got involved personally, as he was a Christian, with these different debates that the bishops were having, the historians were having. He wanted to make an official kind of belief, so he counseled the Nicaea uh, event, and in this event at Nicaea, many different bishops, 318 of them, came together from around the land at Nicaea at the order of Julius Caesar to talk about these issues and to make an official orthodox creed and also to make an heretical creed, a heresy. <clears throat> and that was the first time that these officials came together to actually debate these issues and make an official version of the religion. That's how Ehrman uh, ends this book. It turns out also that he mentions that there were many of these councils, I think eight or nine official councils throughout the years to change and update the views on who Jesus was and what the official church uh, belief was, which really gives a well-rounded perspective. I really liked Ehrman's insight on this book. He's a really passionate uh, writer when it comes to these issues and how Jesus became God was quite an interesting book. Christianity is the most popular religion in the world. Over two billion people claim to be Christians and that's what re led me to this book. I wanted to know why. How did this uh, religion triumph and become the most popular belief system in the world? And I really loved Bart Ehrman's perspective here. I learned much more than I thought I was going to learn about this book. I learned a lot about the Bible and how it was written and how it was debated and how it was changed and political motives concerning people that were constructing the Bible and books that were rejected from the Bible and how all of these issues uh, came to describe why many people thought that Jesus was God uh, before and even after his death and even into the modern day. Thank you for joining me for this uh, review. A little bit different. Check out some of my other reviews, please, or reviews. Please subscribe to me if you made it this far. Bart Ehrman's How Jesus Became God, The Exaltation of a Jewish Preacher from Galilee. This book is packed with information. It was way more informative than I thought it was going to be, and I give it a five-star review and a strong recommendation. Thanks, everyone.